Hello everyone. How are you all? I hope you are all doing good. In my previous videos, I have been mentioning about hydration and its importance in when it comes to health and fitness. So today I'm just getting into a little detail of it. Okay. So why is hydration so important? The thing is to understand this, we need to understand where we are living. We are living on Earth, and if you check the stats, seventy percent of the Earth is water, and seventy percent of our body is also water. So there definitely is a connection, and we need to understand this. You believe it or not, understanding is important. So <clears throat> now, how important is water? If you ask me that question, then I would say, just by fulfilling your water intake on a daily basis, you can avoid at least 80% of the diseases which are running around us. And these include all the diseases which are ultimately chronic, like uh, cancers, tumors, uh, kidney stones blood pressure variations, heart attack, for that matter, any kind of cardiac issues. Now, another thing is the benefit. Uh, the good side is you can overcome a lot of stress by doing this. Your mind will be more clear. Your uh, uh, performance at work and in your family will be much better, much more clear because the whole system is getting if you check 70% of what it really wants in a proper manner. Now, now the prescribed way of having water or the quantity is some, somewhere around um, 4 liters to 5 liters. Some, some go really crazy up to 6 liters per day. So it doesn't, now it depends on what your body is demanding. So at least you need around 3.5 to 4 liters. Now, when we are having water, it doesn't mean that we drink water and complete the, uh, you know, complete that amount that we need. It's not just by drinking uh, three and a half liters or four liters of water you're going to fulfill the need of your body. That doesn't work. It doesn't work that way. Let's uh, let's try to understand this. When we need, we need to understand that when we are asked to consume water, it must be in that manner that. Whenever you're feeling thirsty, you should have water. Make sure that whenever you're having thirst, you drink water. Don't just sip water. It is really bad for your health, for your body, and especially for your brain. So do not sip water. Drink water, and you should drink at least one or two glasses of water every time you feel thirsty. And that's uh, precisely around uh, 300 to 350 ml. That would, that would do good. Apart from that, when it comes to uh, water intake, 50% of the water should come in through water itself and the rest should come through fruits and vegetables and what you're eating because that is how the body is going to use it. If you're going to simply uh, just drink water, one thing is the, it's not going to be used in the body, next it's not going to be stored in the body and it's just going to be wasted out. So you're just wasting your time by doing that. Instead of that, check it this way. Have 50% of it by drinking water and the rest 50% try to consume it through your food, through the fruits and vegetables. Why fruits and vegetables? Why not meat? Why not any other thing? Because fruits and vegetables, they have uh, the vegetables, any vegetables that you take, will have at least 70% of water, same like us. And fruits, you can expect up to 95% of water. So that is how we need to hydrate our body so that our whole system can function properly in the proper manner. I hope you understood what I'm saying. Now it's all about how much you are going to do it. Try it out at least for one, one and a half months so that the body can get used to this routine and you will understand 
how good it is to get things done in the proper manner. Okay? All right, so that's information on hydration for you. Okay, I hope you like the work that I'm doing. So if you do, please subscribe this channel and uh, also hit the bell icon so that you can get the notifications. Apart from that, if there is anything that you would like to comment or share, please do it in the comment box. And if there is any suggestions from your side, please let me know through the comment box. So I know that everybody is running out of time, there is hardly time for anything. But what I would like to say is, health is indeed more important than time. Because you see, in that case, spending a little time for your health is always good. Because only if you have health are you going to be able to use the time, right? So, until we meet again, you all have a nice time and live happy.